All right, now we're gonna talk about the positioning uh, in the close guard, okay? How I position myself inside a close guard. I'll show you different ways for you to uh, behave and stay in a good stance, a good position inside a close guard, okay? So the traditional one is uh, closing the lapel, having the thumb in between the collar. Like a lot of instructors, they teach with the thumb between, uh, with not the thumb, but the, the index finger between the collar like this. Thumb one side, index between, three fingers the other side. For a lot of people, this is very comfortable. And then they grab the, the sleeve right here with the other hand and stay like this. Also, they keep their feet flat on their floor, okay? So, to be honest, uh, I don't like to do that, okay? The way that I do is to grab, I'm not saying this is wrong, okay? But I don't like to do that. One, because my feet flat on the floor, it's easier for him to move me and then I'll be slow. Okay, so I prefer to be my toes on the mat so I can be faster, all right? Uh, and two, I feel this grip is so easy for him to break, okay? So what I like to do, I like to grab with the thumb one side and four fingers the other side. And now what I do, I push his collar, okay? I push his collar and, and, and I use my hand on the pack of his uh, chest right here, right? On the same side that I'm grabbing, okay? So that way, when I grab here, I keep his arm far from my collar, okay? And the, what are, uh, the other grip, what I do is grabbing his collar, uh, grabbing his pants, sorry, right here inside, and using this part of my hand right on his leg and tuck my elbow in. But notice that I'm not talking about my footwork or my legs, just my upper body. So I go step one, put the weight right here, step two, grabbing the pants, like umbrella grip, right? Not four fingers inside, umbrella grip. I don't like to grab much the belt. We're gonna talk about that later. But um, I feel that the belt sometimes is too loose, right? Okay, so I grab more on the collar right here, on the pants, sorry. I grab on the pants with this part of my hand against his hips, right on the hips flex right here, okay? Or I can use the grip on his sleeve and I put my weight on his wrist and I go here, and now I start uh, being on this position, okay? Uh, it's very important to, to always be sideways, okay? That way you build the tension on the leg of your opponent and it's hard for him to move. If I just grab and I don't move my legs and I don't move my hips and I don't create angles, it's easy for him to, to uh, attack me, okay? It's easier for him to feel more comfortable. Just like I say, on the mount position, when I need to escape from mount, what I need to do? I need to turn to one side, right? I need to be like sideways in order to put on the half guard. This is just a reverse uh, picture of the mount position. So the same concept here. So I need to grab the collar, put the weight on his back. I can control the sleeve and I use my knee right outside of his hips and I turn like this. I can be with my leg up or I can be sideways like this. So that way I build tension on his hips and it's hard for my opponent to move, okay? Sometimes it's gonna jump over my, my, my leg like this, then immediately I need to turn back to the position. But if I have my grip, instead of being on his sleeve, but on his pants, I can push his hips down so it's harder for him to move. So I can be step one, step two, step three, and then I stay like this, okay? Now, just as you try to move, it's hard for him to move. Okay, I keep right here. I can keep with both knees on the floor here. I can flat my feet on the floor, but like I said, I can keep with my tiptoes on the mat. So I'm, as soon as I open the guard, if you open the guard, I'm ready to jump and start passing his guard or stand up as fast as I can, okay? One more time, Let's turn this way, just. Okay, so I'm here, that's the first one. Traditional one, you grab here, right? I like to go one, two, three, okay? Once I do this, I stand up my leg and I put my inner thigh against the outside of his, his hips, and then I stay like this, okay? And now I push him here. So now my elbow is inside. Sometimes just by doing that, he's gonna open the guard. He's gonna feel really uncomfortable. I build the tension on his hips and on the hand, on the hips, and also pushing the chest. And when I push the chest here, I cannot close his elbow. I need to open my elbow, okay? Always 
because he's gonna try to looking for my collar over my arm. I don't let that happen. If I keep here, you're gonna grab my collar, okay? So I keep open. If you try to go under, you grab my collar, it's fine, okay? It's not bad, but it's better than uh, over the arm. If you grab over the arm, you can start locking my elbow and start attacking my arm, okay? So that's the first posture, okay? Like, like this. You stay like this and then uh, you prepare yourself to start uh, opening the guard, okay? The second way, the second uh, position that you can have inside the closed guard is grabbing both collars, thumb inside, okay? And you put your knuckles under his armpits, okay? Putting the knuckles under the armpits and you can have your elbows on the floor if you want, your head in the center of his chest, never outside and you keep yourself here. That's one way. You can keep the elbow on the floor or you can keep in a posture like this. It really depends how you wanna behave and what you're gonna do, okay? If I wanna work more on passing close to him, from here, we're gonna learn this later. This is a good option, but also if you have long arms, if you can uh, grab my, my belt, right, like that. Yes, exactly, I'm not gonna be like that. Go back, John. I'm gonna be here trying to grab my belt right now, so it's harder for him to grab my belt, okay? So that's another way uh, for you to behave and stay inside, a good posture, a good positioning in how to stay inside uh, the clothes guard, okay? Uh, the other one that you can do as well is controlling a 201 grip, okay? So you're gonna grab a 201 grip, but when you grab, don't go and, and try to looking for that grip like this, so that way he's gonna start uh, taking your back or moving you to the side. You're gonna grab his hand and you grip to this hand right here, like a two on one grip, okay? So you close your elbow here, right? So now what you're gonna do, you're gonna bring his hand to the side and use your knuckles, okay? The knuckles against his uh, forearm. And then you're gonna grab with your hand, four fingers inside, right here on this part of his gi. You see there's a material here. So you grab and you pull to you, so you close your elbow here. So now Jonathan is trying to move towards me. It's really hard. I'm maintaining shoulder off the mat and I can do so many things here to prepare myself to open the guard, okay? I can even start standing up this leg and start opening the guard. It's a very strong position since I have my knuckles like this, okay? I cannot let my opponent grab my gi here in this case. If you grab my gi, that's bad for me, okay? So I need to turn him this way and I use my knuckles strongly in a way that he cannot Come back with this hand. So I'm here. So he's trying to grab me back. So I keep super heavy here, okay? And I grab here, so now I close here. I like to stand up, even this leg here, to stay here. Try to, to move, John. It's really hard for him to move, okay? Another way you can grab as well and position yourself inside a close guard, okay? You can uh, grab the cross grip as well and control here. You pull his collar to you and have his, uh, his hand on the other side, grabbing the knuckle here, okay? A lot of people don't like to do that because they, they think that the opponent can break this grip, but if I really put the weight on him and I stand up this leg, having my inner thigh around his thigh, it's really hard for him to move, okay? Also, when I grab here, I hide more my hand from uh, the sleeve here, okay? From his grip on my sleeve. So when I grab here, try to reach my hand right now, it's harder. When I grab here, it's easier for him to grab, but it's still a great position to stay, okay? Uh, the other one is having the hand on the belt, okay? So you can grab the belt of your opponent. So you gotta feel that the belt is tight. If the belt is loose, it's gonna be a little bit hard for you to control the belt. But uh, one thing really important, you're not gonna grab just one part of his belt, just the top part. You gotta grab both sides of the belt, okay? So the belt go around the waist pretty much like twice, right? So you gotta go here. You grab both both uh, sides, okay? If you, if you can grab like this, it's even better because the knot will not uh, undo, okay? You're not gonna undo the knot. Sometimes when the knot is about to, to uh, lose, you're gonna end up losing by grabbing just one of the belt, okay? Just one of the parts. It's actually just one belt, but just one of the parts of the belt but you're gonna grab everything, grab everything, and then you can push his, uh, push your hand, okay? This part of your hand against his rib, okay? And then you're gonna be 
on this position, on this posture here, with your hands right below his back, okay, right below his chest. He's gonna try to break my posture, okay? I just stay here, okay? I can stay here, and it's really hard for him to move as well, okay? Um, other way that you can uh, control in this type of scenario, okay? This type of uh, position. Let's say your opponent doesn't have the belt, okay? One thing you can do, you can uh, just fold, uh, kind of like you're gonna do a knot on his, on his uh, lapel, you cross the lapels like this, and now you start tangling the lapel like that. And now it becomes like a belt, okay? And then you just grab here and control. You can grab with both hands, one hand uh, each side, and your opponent will try to break the grip, you just stay here. Or you can grab just with one hand towards the side that your hand is grabbing, like you're grabbing with the left hand. So you keep your hand towards the left side, towards his, his right side on this case. And you push here while you're having the other hand on his hips. Now you work with the inner tie. You see that I like to stand up to put my inner tie right uh, outside of his leg. And then I stay here. Okay? So I just gotta watch out for arm bars and normal platas on this side. But this is a great way for you to trap the body of your opponent and have a good posture inside the close guard. Okay? The other way, other position that you can do uh, and can stay here, another posture, is to grab both sleeves. You can grab both sleeves and cross his arms like this and keep yourself like that. You use this part of your hand against his wrist on both sides and you don't cross the hands, okay? Just stay here, relax, okay? And close your elbows, all right? So now your opponent is trying to work, you just stay here, okay? And then from here, you can start uh, doing other grips in order to stand up, to open the guard, or to start attacking your opponent, or even rest. All these positions here are positions that I can stay in between the legs of my opponent uh, without uh, any effort and resting. Uh, sometimes during the fight, you need to rest. You're tired, you just put it inside the close guard, and you can't open the guard right away. You don't want to just rest without any good posture or any grip. You gotta have a good grip and you gotta have a good posture. And those are the posture that you can use. Uh, another way that you can do here, okay, uh, to, to rest inside the guard of your opponent, all right? So you can grab cross sleeve in one side, okay? And you can grab the belt here. You can do that way as well. Cause that way you hide uh, the arm and it's hard for him to reach your arm and you can keep pushing here. And you just rest here, so make sure your knuckles are here. Try to move, Jones. He's trying to move, I stay here. Now is the positioning of my legs. In all these situations, I can stay a little bit sideways, or I can stay with my knees open wide, or I can stay with my knees a little bit under his butt, okay? So if my legs are really open wide, and my opponent have a really strong legs, he's gonna feel no tension on his legs, okay? He's gonna keep the leg closed. Okay, especially if he likes to close like a figure four, to have a really long legs, okay? You can be with the knees outside, but right under his butt as well, in all these situations. Let's say if I'm here, I can keep open, or I can keep closed, okay? Just don't keep your knees together, all right? Touching each other. Your knees doesn't touch each other, okay? But your knees can be a little bit more close, okay? And that way you put a little bit of tension on his, on his leg. Right? Or if you go like this, you can be with one knee more under his butt, like that. Okay, so I like to have connection on my opponent, okay? I don't like to, to be like this, okay, without any connection. Especially if I have this uh, side forward, I put my inner thigh right outside of his hips. Okay, so you have all these type of postures that you can start uh, resting or preventing your opponent from attacking you. And there will be like so many uh, different guard passes that we're gonna learn next that you guys will, will have uh, a, a lot of success inside a close guard without giving any opportunity to your opponent in order to uh, tap you out, okay? Don't let anyone tap you out. The goal is to defend first. So we start instructional with defenses, with concepts about how to posture, how to stay, how to behave inside the guard. And now next we go uh, 
we go to the next step, which is opening the guard and passing the guard, okay? Let's go, one, two, three.